Settlements on the border between Donetsk and Luhansk regions are in ruins. Every second house has been destroyed by Russian aerial bombs. Was that this week? Yes, a guided aerial bomb hit here. In addition to enemy aircraft and artillery, Russian attack drones are also trying to find their targets in all weathers. I would not say that the weather conditions are very bad now. It is not raining. So they can fly safely. When we left, it was danger of drones. So they are flying somewhere. This is the Serebryansk forest. The guys call this forest black. It's all because of... Russian rockets and uh, attacks, of course. Today we're driving to see how guys working with their mine weapon. Servicemen say that the most of the forest has been destroyed. Russians use everything they have in their armament to bomb this place. <laughs> Phosphorus shells were also used here. They use everything they can. They have no moral or ethical principles. If they cannot capture, they just try to destroy everything. Everything in the forest is covered with fog, but even such weather does not prevent Russian occupants from shelling Ukrainian positions. There is smoke. Maybe there was a strike? Yes, yes, there was definitely an attack, literally 10 minutes before us. Ukrainian mortarmen never complain about the lack of combat tasks at these positions. There are always planned targets. Today it is the enemy's dogouts. There may be more than a dozen Russian soldiers there. We have repeatedly destroyed these dugouts, but they literally move two or three meters away and build new dugouts on the same spot. But you know, you can't take away their digging. They can dig day and night. Servicemen prepare a 120 caliber mortar for use in a matter of minutes. <laughs> After hitting the targets, it's better to stay in cover for a while, defenders say, as the enemy may respond immediately. What can it withstand? You calculate their location, but they can do it as well. We have two of these thick ones. It will definitely withstand a 120 mm mine or a self-propelled artillery. But it is still depends, but our task is to be invisible. Often the mortar units are only a few kilometers from the Russian positions, and the servicemen's task is to prevent possible assaults. Are there any attacks in this area? Of course, like everywhere else, and in the neighboring ones as well. And they are not calming down? They never calm down. The Russians are trying to regain the positions they lost in the fall 2022 on a daily basis. Only on January 20th, Russian troops stormed the Serebryansky Nature Preserve area seven times. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Alena Hramova, Evgen Karmazin, Oleksandr Kolichev, UATV News.